Okay. Hello friends, welcome back to Prima Cooks. Today we are going to do a video on the leek and how to cut it, how to clean it, and then what to do with it. This is a luxurious, lovable, lanky, lustrous member of the Allium family. And I love leeks so much, they're really great for substituting for onions or garlic, things that you might have an intolerance to. Uh, those are also in the Allium family, so they're related. This tastes sort of like an onion, but milder in flavor and a little bit sweeter. So I think one of the more intimidating things about the leek and working with it is when it's growing up from the ground, here's the root, here's its top, but when it's coming up through the ground, it brings all of this silt and dirt with it. And so each of these layers oftentimes is very dirty. So you need to clean it really well. And another thing to know about leeks is there's the dark green top on leeks and it starts fading into a lighter green and a white. You wanna cut the dark green part off. This is very fibrous and coarse and it's harder to work with in cooking. So we're gonna set these aside for now and we'll talk about them later. And now we have two different ways that we're gonna show you how to clean and cut a leek. So the more common way, I would say, that you'll see most often is to cut your leek into rounds. And then once they're cut into rounds, you're gonna pop them out from their circles into a bowl of water. And then in the water, you're going to take these with your hands and just move them around and try to clean off any dirt or silt that might be residual. And this leak actually looks fairly clean in comparison to many leaks that I've worked with. So you'll do, keep doing this until you think you've gotten all of the little bits off. And then in a moment, we'll take this over to the sink, strain it, and then rinse it under running water just to make sure we got everything. So we're gonna leave these sitting for a moment. So that technique that I just show you where you cut it into rounds and wash it, that's really common. I personally don't ever do that because it takes so much extra time. So now I wanna show you with this leak, my quick, easy, fast method of cleaning a leak that I find to be way easier. So what you're gonna do with this is starting at the root, leave at least a finger's width of space and then insert your knife in the middle. And we're just gonna cut directly up the leak, cutting it in half. We're gonna take this over to the sink right now. We're also gonna take our rounds to strain. And then since we have the root down here holding it together, what we're going to be able to do underneath running water in the faucet is go through and we can use our fingers and layer by layer go through and clean out any dirt or silt. Before I cut this, I just wanna show you, I'm gonna talk through this without actually doing it. Let's say you wanted to keep this leek whole so that you could potentially toss it on the barbecue or grill it, roast it, or boil it. So what you would do is just trim off this root area with your knife and then make sure that you had enough space right there that it's gonna hold this intact and then you can toss it on the barbecue, whatever. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you this, is to just chop it as is and then we're gonna have these nice half moons. Let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna leave this other half of the leek. So we have these big half moons, but another thing you could do if you for some reason want a tinier bite-sized leek, we can also flip it over, make another cut so that we have quarters. And this leek is pretty large, so this is an easy one to do that with. And then do the same thing as before, just grip it tight, hold it together. We can go all the way down to the root, then we'll dispose of this guy. I have a bowl for these bits and bobs. We'll pretend like they're all the same size. And I'm using them for the same thing. Whew, yay, okay. That was overly enthusiastic. But now we have our full rings. We have our half moons. Underneath that, our quarter moons. So that's the two different ways that you can clean and cut a leek. So one last thing before we go, we have our dark green tops of the leek that we cut off because they're often not used in cooking. But what you can do with these is cut them in half, run them underwater, clean them like we did before, toss them in your soup stock bag or into a pot of soup stock, and they add a lot of flavor. 
you don't know how to make soup stock and you're curious, we have a video for that and we will have a link down below. Otherwise, I think that's all we have for you about leeks today. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and we would be happy to answer any questions. Hope y'all learned something about leeks and you feel a little bit less intimidated. And that is all. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Oh, I'm such a dork. These are not good for dogs, but you can smell jams. Nope, nope, nope. Good jams.